you. I am Lash of Snow and today is the start of Pokemon week. I hope you enjoy this week and I thought to begin we will play some TCG online or for new people um, the trading card game online. So this is it. You download a little program and you create an account and they give you a handful of uh, basic packs to start and they make you pay or not pay they make you play through a few computer trainers first to kind of get the gist of the game uh, yes another thing I don't understand why I, why I am a black woman because I'm very much a white man um, I logged in created an account and for some reason I don't know how to change that so to people online, I look like I'm a black woman. Maybe it's, they'll go easy on me because I'm a woman. Well, that's what they think anyway. To mean no disrespect to women, by the way. Of course not. Anyways, let's get on with the game. Uh, Calvin here has a water deck. And I picked a normal uh, grass deck, which is handy because... Water's weakness is grass. So, as you can probably imagine, or as you can probably guess, I am recording this after recording the actual video footage because unfortunately that's the only way I can do it at the minute. Um, so yeah, it's just basic starters first. Reckless Charge. Lapras is a good card because it, it hits hard and it has a high health. There we go. There's my first one gone. Now, if you're not aware of this, the way you win this game is <clears throat> the little prize cards there to my left. They are six random cards off my uh, off my deck. Your main goal is to get those six cards before the other player. That's one way of winning. Then the other way of winning is to defeat all the Pokemon. That your opponent has on their bench so they have no more so for example if i had um i'll get out of the way if i had this yanma defeated and then the buffalant went in and got defeated and i had none on the bench here this little uh black bar along the bottom then i would lose regardless of the prize cards and then there is a third way to win or lose the game if you force your uh, opponent to run out of cards to draw then they lose the game um, so to begin this game uh, it was pretty much my first foray into this it was, I, think, I think it was the first day I recorded this sorry just having some tea um, Wurmple uh, was it a Wurmple? oh no Wurmple's on the bench <laughs> So yeah, this was my first attempt at this game, and as you can see, I am already one card behind, when I should be up, because water's weakness is grass, but the unfortunate thing was I wasn't getting a chance to, uh, see look at that, boom, almost gone, that's 60 damage to Pokemon that has 70 health, so... Did I wake up? No, I stay asleep for this turn. See, because I'm asleep, I can't then uh, attack. So I would imagine. Yes, you're allowed to attach an energy card per turn, play a few trainers, evolve as many Pokemon as you need. Yeah, I'm awake again. You see, Warwind does 20, and then you switch it out with another Pokemon. Lapras calls for family, so he gets to draw a few, uh, I don't know. Oh, it must be when your bench isn't full. Touch another energy, where's it going? Buffalant. Buffalant is a good, a very, very good card, as you will see. 
because it has a Pokemon power that reduces its damage taken by almost half, which means it won't. Sometimes it doesn't even take any, which is ridiculous, and it deals a hefty amount of damage with the second attack. So there we go. There's my second card gone, and I have to elect one to go in. So who am I going to elect? Servine. Is it a Servine? Schneevy. Sorry. Um. Checking out the card. Take another energy on it and then I can cut. Well, for that particular water card it's weak, this is electric. But the majority of water cards are weak to grass. So there we go, again, third card gone. At this point I was thinking, right, there's not much I can do here. Calvin is fucking halfway home and I'm I haven't even got a card yet, but in came Buffalo. And now this is where it starts to turn round for me. Goldbreaker. Boosh. You'll probably notice this from my new opening credits. This is where I kind of ripped it from. So there we go. I now have one card. And he has three left. Or I have five and he has three. See, down is decreased. Random receiver. Looking through here. <coughs> Looking through for a supporter card. I can't seem to find one. Yeah, Mega. Patrot. Just attaching energies and doing everything in the backfield before. Boosh, there's that EV gone. So then I pick another prize card and I get a grass energy. So, zero. And this is how I was able to turn it around by using Buffalant, he didn't take an awful lot of damage, but he dealt an awful lot of damage. I mean, for basic Pokemon, they tend to be in the range between 40 and 70 HP. So Buffalant's Gold Breaker does 60 each time. So if you're in that range and you're under 60, you're gonna be dead. Or sorry, in the Pokemon terms, it's fainted, not dead. Because that would be awful if you killed them every time. It would also mean that Poke Centers are like resurrection graveyards. <laughs> Alrighty. Random receiver again. Oh yes, I apologize for the the lag in this. Uh, I used QuickTime in order to record the screen and things. And for some stupid reason it didn't record the audio. So unfortunately the audio for this game is going to be me talking and maybe some uh, low volume music in the background. So I hope you can hear me alright and it's it's okay for you. I, mean, I would have liked to have the, um, the game audio in it too. I have tried various little different things in order to record the audio but it's too faint or it's a pain in the ass just let's say, let's say that. Alright so now on terms of prize cards we are equal. We have both uh, taken three each. I healed Lapras. Time map. Show all of your prize cards. So there's a 
Trana car and two physics. There's Steel. Steel gone. I get to pick another prize card. This board starting to turn now. But the also the other benefit of having a strong Pokemon that takes not a lot of damage as your active one, it means you can build up your bench Pokemon in the background. So if something did happen to Buffalon, then you always have fully energy up. Is that, is that it? <laughs> fully energied up benched Pokemon. Just keep throwing energies on them, making them stronger, getting them ready to attack. Pick an action. Switch. I don't like I don't like switch trainers. I don't see the point. Well sometimes that's there is a strategic need, I suppose. To withdraw your active Pokemon and put in a a bench Pokemon. If it's near death and you can heal it in the next turn or I can understand that. So now I am asleep. Wonder did I wake up here? I wake up. So that means that I can hit him back. Flip a coin of head, search your deck for a Pokemon card, reveal it, and put it in your hand. Let's go for a head. Back. Sometimes I feel the coin flipping in this game is ridiculous. You know, if a card says it needs a head or three heads in a row, it won't give you any at all. There we go. Now down to my. Come on, pick a card, pick a card. Cat Brat. Now down to my last card. So from being three down, I am now well ahead. And it was all thanks to Pokemon, so I appreciate that a lot. Goal Breaker. As I said, this was one of my first forays into the trading card game online, and I was quite amazed at what this card could do, and how how little damage it took. And now that is rid of that card. So I draw my last prize card, and I win. So this has been day one for Pokemon week. Don't forget to comment during the week with your favorite Pokemon and why to win uh, a collection of cards. And I will see you tomorrow with another Pokemon video.